Hey everybody, it's Marshall Monkey here, and we have to talk about this certain subject, mainly because I haven't talked about the Arrowverse in a while, and that's talking about Kate Kane, as also known as Batwoman, is going to be in the Arrowverse, the next big crossover. I'm really excited about this. Why? Because not only are we getting Batwoman, but we're getting Gotham City. Gotham, right? In the Arrowverse. Something that we never thought we'd get. We never even thought we'd get any Batman characters, but we're getting Batwoman, right? I mean, that's such a turning point. It's a 180. Now, let me explain some of the crossover stuff to you guys, because I don't know how good this crossover is going to be, right? The Arrow and Flash actors, mostly uh, Daniel Panabaker and Candace Patton, who play Caitlin and Iris, have talked about how stressful the crossovers are and how you know, whenever they get together to do a crossover, they're not just filming episode by episode, right? They're not filming part one of the crossover on Supergirl and then part two and part three. They're not doing that. They're filming all of the episodes at the same time. So that means that they could do a flash scene and then just go straight to the next part. Like they could do a part three scene for Arrow. And like, they just get so lost, confused. They have to memorize so many lines for so many sequences, for so many scenes, the choreography for the fight scenes, the costume, the hair, all the people together in one room. It's crazy, right? I mean, look how many actors, look how many characters are on this screen right now, right? It's just really stressful. And I feel like it shouldn't be, right, for them. It's just kind of odd to see that, you know, see them go through that, right, Um, behind the scenes. Because we never really think about it because we're too busy enjoying the crossover. But I think that this next crossover might be better because Stephen Amell, I think it was Stephen Amell, who said that this crossover is going to be a lot more grounded. I feel like the crossover that we had, the recent one, this one here, was great, but it was also really extravagant. Like, I feel like there was just too many characters. I feel like it was all over the place um, in terms of, like, following all the characters around. It was just a lot to take in. So I feel like this next crossover will be more grounded and it should be. Now, Batwoman is going to be introduced. What does this mean for the Arrowverse? Well, first of all, Batwoman is a really interesting character. Kate Kane, as her real name, real alias is, is the cousin to Bruce Wayne. I think a distant cousin, but I can't really remember for sure. Not really big in Batwoman lore. But she is going to be coming to the Arrowverse. She has an interesting color scheme, as you see here. It's kind of red and black, Red Hood-esque. She has blood red hair. Um, and she's just all, she has a different edge to her than Batman does. Batman has an edge, but I feel like Batwoman is more unique with her edge. Like it's, it's different than Bruce. So I'm glad that they're bringing her in. She's the perfect character in the Batman mythos to introduce us to Gotham without having to actually use Batman. Now Maggie from Supergirl, right? Her Earth One counterpart, I'm guessing, will be involved with Kate Kane. In the comics, Kate Kane is actually, I think, married. I don't know if they ever got married, but they are together. Her and Maggie are together. Like, Batwoman and Maggie are an item. Now, I'm wondering if Alex does cross over this time around, like she did last time, will she find out that Batwoman and Maggie from Earth One are together? And will they bring back the actress? I don't know. I thought that would be a really cool plot twist, and it would be a really cool development in Alex's story over getting over her. I mean, I haven't watched the rest of this recent uh, Supergirl season, but I feel like there's a lot more to revisit with that Maggie relationship. But what do you guys think of Batwoman joining the Arrowverse and seeing Gotham for the first time? Could this lead to a potential Batman appearance? Who knows? Don't forget to comment, don't forget to like and favorite and subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys later for some more videos. Bye-bye.